Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. It's time to bring some testosterone to the table. All right what? now. Yes, we love it. Very <laughs> nice. Well, it's time to chat with the man who's uh, been doing his thing on the big and small screen for years. The man himself, Lamont Rucker. Thank you so much for joining us Thank here at the table. We appreciate it. Of course. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. I appreciate this. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, you know, we do. Proud to be a black man, right, baby. You know, we do what we do when we can, when we can. Oh, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Right. Yes, ma'am. That's all right. All righty. Well, listen, I just want to go ahead and jump in. I want to talk a little bit about Hollywood and, you know, where we see roles for African Americans uh, in Hollywood. For you, as, as I was about to say, Selena, but as Rashawn said earlier, we've seen you on a big and small screen. What do you think built, what role built you, your career uh, for success and sustainability mm -hmm. in Hollywood? Well, that's, that's an interesting question because I think the assumption would be that the, that the answer to that would be the work that you've seen. Mm -hmm. And actu in actuality, the, the, what's really built me for this and put me in a position to do this and to do it, if I may say, at the, at the level and standard that, I, that I've been able to do it mm -hmm. and sustain it yes. happened long before any of you ever knew my name or knew what I looked like. So right. that's why I think the, the training that you get, the, the home training that you get, mm -hmm. um, the you know, personal development, character development, mm -hmm. spiritual development, mm -hmm. skill development, mm -hmm. all of that, yeah. that's the most important part. Yes. So, and that's the work nobody ever sees, mm -hmm. you know? Right. Um, and unfortunately, that's the work that nobody ever sees okay. because all mm -hmm. they end up seeing is... The outcome. Right, is yeah. the outcome, mm -hmm. but that's, that's like... That's the one day of the week and the previous six yeah. nobody gets to witness. Yeah. But mm -hmm. it's like the work what I get paid for is those six days. That last day's that's for free. Good. You that's know what I'm saying? Good. It's like even as an athlete, that's one of the ways I learn to look at it. Mm -hmm. I get paid to practice. The mm -hmm. game is free. Hello. So you know, so that's for me, that's really where it comes from. I mean, thank God I've had uh, uh, the the family, the parents, mm -hmm. um, even some of the other elders and people that were gone before I ever got here. So there's a whole bunch of people mm. and a whole lot of different it's energies and gifts and you know, coming through me. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just here to, Got to go Lynn, Lynn Whitfield was here yesterday, and she spoke about the work as well. Mm -hmm. So that's very fun and interesting that you would co-sign on that on today. Yes. Uh, but in other news, okay, <laughs> your, um, your network family member, Dondre Whitfield, Dondre of Queen Sugar, yeah. mm -hmm. and of other things, because he's been in the industry for, for a long time yeah. as well. But he was down to the circle talking about uh, a dynamic that he calls the grown male syndrome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's take a look at what he meant and then I want to get your take on it. Every man that you meet is a male, but not every male that you meet is a man. Hello, Ooh. somebody. So your, your man, uh, the, the, the man that you meet is about his conscious knowing that he has been sent here to be a servant leader. So you all come first. So whenever you come in the room, you don't have to ask a man whether he is a man or not. He will show you who he is based on what he does. So a man comes in the room to say, sister, you need me to get that? Right. I got that. For you. No, 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 put that down. I got that. A um, grown male walks into the room looking to serve himself first. Ooh. What's What's he doing? <laughs> That's my dude. <laughs> and, real, and I say these things all the time, so I've had the privilege to, you know, to be a public speaker, to be a motivational mm -hmm. speaker. I have my master's in education, mm -hmm. so I'm an, I'm an educator. These are the things that I speak on all the time. I work with young men and boys. I, young, I work with young women and girls and families and mm -hmm. been doing that work for years, too. And I, I speak on this all the time. There's a very significant difference between being male and being a man. Yes. Mm -hmm. And there's a process of evolution that happens. Just by nature, I'm male. Mm -hmm. But it's take, it takes time and it takes work to become and evolve into a man. A mm. real man de behaves in a very different way than a cave man does. Now what does and, one man have really to do to, to really go into being a man? What is yeah, the one you, thing well, that you he needs do the to work. focus? And it's, it's, what's unfortunate is that the, the, the spirit works regardless of what you do mm -hmm. because God's bigger than all of this. Hello. Mm -hmm. However, y it's very difficult for you to be what you can't see and what mm -hmm. you've never seen. So we need more models, but that implies that we don't have positive men yes, and positive yes. role models, mm -hmm. and that's, that's false. Mm -hmm. So the fallacy is that there aren't powerful, creative, intelligent men mm -hmm. all around us all the time, and there are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, and unfortunately, we don't know as many of them, or we kind of take them for granted, or we mm -hmm. call that soft or something because right. he's doing what he's supposed to do and there's nothing exceptional about it, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Because that's what we do. Right. But in doing so, we need to be much more... Uh, we need a much more 
be much more open and clear what it really means to be a man. And yeah. there are a lot of different definitions of that. But being loving, being nurturing, being a servant, uh, uh, being um, sensitive, yes. right? All mm -hmm. these things Vulnerable. that we don't mm -hmm. think mm -hmm. are consistent with manhood actually are. Yes. And you don't have to overcompensate for any of those things yeah. to try to act like you, mm -hmm. you know, you're powerful. If you just sit and literally live and walk in your own power, you like don't have that. to take power away from anybody else. Exactly. You don't have to harm anybody else. You don't have to feel threatened when you see the power in other people. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when we say game recognize game yes. or iron sharpens iron, that's really what that's, that's about. What light is. recognizes light Everything. and you love it and absorb it as opposed to be threatened or mm -hmm. try to destroy it. Speaking of a light, you have made a conscious mm -hmm. effort not to really show people your relationship or talk about your relationship. Why have you decided to do that? You mean my personal your relationship? Personal relation, my, your personal relationship? Like wife. my marriage? Yes. Yeah, because it's none of your business. <laughs> right, right, right. Why right. yeah. uh, have you made a conscious effort though? Because, because, unfortunately, it's a combination of things because my privacy and my uh, my happiness mm -hmm. and the, the harmony and trust and harmony. love and communication that uh, that we agreed is mm -hmm. important to both of us to yeah. have in our lives and our families and mm -hmm. our future. Yeah. There are elements that we don't, you know, that we don't want and, and certain dynamics that we don't want That's in our lives beautiful. and in, mm -hmm. our, in, our, in our homes yeah. and in our hearts. Yeah. So I've, I've done, I do the best I can to, to protect her. Mm -hmm. That doesn't necessarily mean That's shelter good. her, mm -hmm. um, or, hide but, her. But right. or hide her. Yeah, no, yes. yeah. But out of love and respect for her, I absolutely shield her, but I also listen to her and, hey, what do you want to do? What do you want to participate Beautiful. in? Mm -hmm. Where are you comfortable? Mm -hmm. There are times I challenge her to do things she's not comfortable with because mm -hmm. that's also part of being Girl. a beaten right. being partners yeah. too. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but yeah, I just try to really um, you know, ask people to, res you know, to respect people who choose to do that, to Beautiful. keep their that's families right. and their children and their elders and their relatives and their loved ones like you know like step back yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. like it's okay that's like, beautiful you know she here yeah shield them things, shield right? them you know? from that yeah. social media yeah. monster yeah. 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 and everything yeah. else associated yeah. with it and when you see her yes. make sure you show her the proper respect right you know? yeah so don't i excite, i appreciate when you're excited to see me and meet me all right now she's standing right here you better know that's beautiful thank you love you baby <laughs> being here. We love it. We love it. Also, a big thanks yes. to your castmate, Deborah Joy Winans, who is yes. an amazingly beautiful woman. Make sure you catch it tonight, all right? An all-new episode of Greenleaf at 10 p.m. on OWN. Up next... <laughs>